Thank you, everyone, whether you're black or white or whatever color, whatever race. Uh, this is the Chief Chiwetalo Ago, the veteran actor who has done 2003 productions since 1981. 2003 productions since 1981 and still waxing stronger and stronger. I understand that uh, the person who is taking the second position to this record is maybe hovering around 500 productions. But look at where God has placed me. Why I am drawing your attention this very moment eh, is to show you just take a look at the, what is on this table. Arrows of different types. We have arrow of cowry here. We have arrow of sea stone. We have arrows of pins. You can see pins, but they are here, uh, uncountable now. Then you have seen, a, this is a key. The prophet who brought these out from my body, we were discussing this key, and I was asking, were they planning to, since it was brought out from my chest, as heart region, did they mean to block my heart? Because anybody whose heart is not functioning is no more alive. Look at key. Then look at bullets. You know, bullet, look at another bullet, all this from my chest region, shoulder region, neck region, you've seen uh, stones, some are purely sea stones, brought for the purpose of killing this child of God. When we saw this mirror, we were calculating that the enemies had sent all these. They didn't kill. Then they brought mirror to show them what was still holding Chiwetalo alive. That's the mirror here. You see? You know, all these are uh, uh, hand, hand walk of the enemy. But the truth of the matter is that once you are with God, nobody can harm you. However powerful his weapons, he cannot harm you. What I see myself as is as agent of the Lord to help humanity to save those I can save from being destroyed by the enemy, just like God has saved me from being destroyed by these people. But at a point, I was asleep, I was even seeing myself five feet under the ground. And you know that um, it is six feet, when you die, they bury you. And I saw myself going down up to five feet underground. And I called on God with a voice in need, a voice in danger, a voice that was saying, I will not agree, Lord. If I have done this for you, Lord, this one, that one, the other one, then I don't deserve where I am finding myself. Once I made that pronouncement, the time it was happening, I saw myself being brought out from the ground up to five feet, up to four feet, up to three, until I found myself back in the world again. You know, See, um, 
I don't know how to express thanks to God. But what I'm preaching to all of you is that with God, nothing will happen to you. Nothing whatsoever. I know what I'm doing for God. How I worship Him. How I help my fellow human beings through the support of God. So when these things were happening, I wasn't expecting myself to to um, leave this world the way my enemies planned. 